Me and Jasper have just come out on, onto one of uh, one of our permissions today. And I've got with me my new Hawk Sidewinder. So I've just spent 20 minutes setting that up, and it's shooting absolutely bang on now, same as my Air Max did, only a little bit clearer. Uh, it's got a 30 mil tube, so it lets a bit more light in, and the reticle is a little bit more complex as well. Um, side wheel, which means it's a lot easier for me to focus it in when I'm trying to um, set the scope cam up. So hopefully that should mean that we'll get some clearer footage. Um, but it'll still take a bit of getting used to. So yeah, we we'll just have a little wonder now and we'll see what we come across. It's not the most productive thing, having the dog with me. But I'm the only one who can walk in today, so um, it's got to be done. Apologies for this being quite so blurry, I'm not quite sure what was going on there. But that dropped with a lung shot. You can see that it hops around for a couple of seconds and then just keels over when it runs out of oxygen. Oh, nice crow there. Uh, I lazed him at 55 yards. Now, where I am here it's quite sheltered, so I gave him whatever it is two mil lots hold over um, but there's actually a breeze out in the field and if I look really closely I can see the grass moving out there and I didn't take that into account so I'm pretty sure the pellet blew a little bit to the left and um, and took him with a, a lung shot so not bad I mean it, it hopped around for a couple of seconds just before the oxygen ran out and then he keeled over just got to keep an eye on the wind as always I'd like to just say thank you to sports match mounts for providing the mounts to uh to pop this scope on my rifle. I'm using 30mm low dovetail mounts. I spot this squirrel and it provides me the perfect opportunity for a headshot. Headshot squirrel. Just use this old elder tree as a rest. The dog didn't do too much damage. <laughs> okay, so I've just had a look at the footage, and while it looked clear through my eyes, through the GoPro, it's a bit blurry. And the, the reason I think that is is because I didn't wind the mag in fully. Um, the GoPro sees far better than I do, and what looks sharp to me might not look sharp to the GoPro. Whereas if I wound the magnification into 14. Um, the margin for error in the parallax is a lot smaller so I'm likely to get a lot more accurate in sharpness so that's what I'm going to try and do uh, on the next on the next few shots so that's a crow and a squirrel in the bag so far my rifle is the Ratworks tuned HW100 well here's the crow not a particularly big one I'd probably say maybe last year's taken with the lung shot and here is the first squirrel we had uh, headshot so yeah not bad not bad little uh, hour of shooting just come into this wood and I can hear a squirrel barking there's not a lot of leaves on these trees so I'm hoping I'll spot him he's stopped now but I know he's in here. So 
So I spotted this squirrel looking straight at me. And uh, put the pellet exactly where it needed to go. He hangs on for a couple of seconds, that's just the nerves making the muscles spasm. See the blood dripping out of his head there. And I know at this point that, that squirrel's stone dead. Dropped him with an absolute bang on headshot. Um, he hung on for a couple of seconds, you could see the blood dripping down from his head. And um, yeah, I knew he was, knew he was out, out for the count. Um, so yeah, because of that, I know he's absolutely dead, so I don't mind sending the dog in to retrieve it. Get on! Bring him! Bring him! Bring him on! Good boy. Drop! Good boy. Is our squirrel then? Shot by me. Picked by Jasper. Really nice headshot. Uh, I think I'm going to head off now. A couple of squirrels and a crow in the bag. Not a bad few hours shooting. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe.